Hello everyone, Silent here. Welcome back to another Bug Rock of the Week episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at some weird and troubling issues with boats. Yes, boats, the innocent, the majestic, the glorious boat actually has a lot of weird issues. I was able to find like six or seven things within like 15 minutes of just messing with these. And that is kind of scary. They should not be that broken. Why has this been un unnoticed and unannounced? Anyway, if you guys did not see the last episode of Bug Rock of the Week, I show off some even more troubling issues with the mob spawning algorithm that is actually affecting all of your worlds. If you are not aware of that bug, maybe go check it out because it might actually explain why you're finding all of those animals in your cave systems. In fact, it actually definitely explains that. So go watch it if you're interested. And thank you all very much for the support on that bug. But without further ado, Let's hop into this bug rock of the week. So this first bug is the one that made me want to actually make this video, and this might be considered more of a nitpick or kind of a minor annoyance. However, it's actually pretty annoying when you're trying to do a lot of different things in this game, and that is that boats sometimes, when you place them in a specific way, will not be able to row through things that do not have a collision box. So things with collision boxes, are like actual blocks because you know you can't just walk right on through these these things like plants and flowers and saplings and all of these things over here do not have collision boxes uh, however they still have a hitbox of course uh, but as you can see when we place the boat normally you can kind of just row right on through these as it would be expected because you can just walk through these as well however if you place the boat on top of this then the boat is basically just anchored there permanently you will not be able to move this boat you have to actually break it and replace it because it is stuck there. So you don't just have to place the boat on top of the sapling or whatever. You can actually just place it on the same block and it'll still be completely anchored there. The oars will still be moving, but you won't be able to move whatsoever. And I think this is actually a new bug because this is something that a few people just recently mentioned to me. So I went ahead and tested it with all of the different things that I can think of that don't really have collision boxes. And if you place it in a specific way, like in the same block as any of these things, it will not be able to move or row or anything like that, which is very, very annoying because boats are actually a wonderful way to transport mobs, such as villagers. So if you place down a boat anywhere around grass, there's a pretty large chance that this thing will not be able to move. So when you have yourself a villager or a mob in a boat like this and the boat can't move, you have to actually break the boat and then recapture the mob, get it back into the boat and then start rowing on your way, hoping that the boat can then move again once you place it back down. So really quite the annoyance. So I'm not gonna demonstrate this with every single one of the blocks in front of you here because like that's just a waste of video time and no one's gonna watch that. But a few notes is that the end crystal doesn't actually prevent the boat from moving, but like I can't move that because these things kind of explode. They're highly explosive. Uh, snow layers surprisingly does not have this effect, which you could argue maybe it should because like that's kind of a lot of snow. And also the like carpet and stuff, this does technically have a collision box because as you see, you go up a tiny bit. And also when you're just on the ground like this, you can't row. However, there is an exception if you place the boat on top of that you will not be able to row it, as you can see. And same goes for like the redstone repeaters over here. If we place that on top of there, you can't row the thing. Uh, but this also affects things that go on the walls, like tripwire hooks. So we can place that in that block and it just cannot move. As you can see, there's clearly nothing on the ground in front of it. There's no reason whatsoever for this to not be able to move. This gets a little bit annoying once you get to item frames and paintings because the same thing goes for item frames. Like it's just on the wall and completely prevents it from moving. As soon as you remove the item frame or whatever though, then you can still move. However, of paintings, it is extra broken because you can actually place the boat like into the ground. Now it's not working right now. I had this like down to a science earlier. There we go. Uh, so if we place that right there, you can basically just start stacking boats. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I literally found this out by just trying to place a boat. Like I wasn't trying to like break the game or anything, just trying to innocently place a boat and uh, just broke the game you know it happens totally happens well apparently this isn't just limited to paintings it's pretty much anything that doesn't have a full hitbox i would guess um so that's cool game is even more broken than i thought it was don't ask how many boats that was i'm kind of ashamed to admit it but this has literally got less reflections coming off of it than vanta black i mean come on that is like seriously dark 
Here is another fun, but maybe kind of useless one, and that is that boats actually store momentum. So right at the very edge of this, we're gonna hit shift, hop out of it, hop back in it, and as you can see, it just continues right back on its way. That is far, far too much momentum for me to have just like press W or anything like that. So you might be able to prank someone like this, to just like leave a boat on like your ice way and then have it like shoot off as soon as they get into it or something like that. There is definitely some sort of mischievous use for this one. And they don't just store momentum horizontally, they can also do it vertically as well, kind of, which is a little bit interesting. So we have some slime blocks down here at the bottom. Obviously, we're going to bounce once or twice, but once we start to lose a little bit of momentum, you can see that once we exit the boat, this thing will basically just fly like 40 blocks up into the air. A little bit ridiculous and probably shouldn't happen, right? But we can also go ahead and hop back into the boat and we can just repeat that process as soon as we exit the boat like right before we're about to hit the ground, it actually gives it like a lot more momentum. <laughs> uh, this is one of my funner little bugs with boats and it is certainly very strange. So a little bit of an update, you can actually wait until the boat has completely stopped falling and then exit it and still get it to launch like 40 blocks into the air. Extra broken with a side of extra extra. And another bug that I found literally just by placing boats is that if you place them in just the correct order, you can literally make like a boat mountain and a boat ladder just by placing them. I mean, look, you place one and it bounces up all the others. This is very strange. I don't know if we should be calling these bugs or quirks or just like head scratching moments or physics defying things, but whatever it is, it's certainly interesting. Like these are pretty harmless to be fair but they they might give you a little bit of oh god <laughs> they might give you a little bit of entertainment in your world if you got like a whole bunch of boats for some random reason you can find some pretty weird experiments to make so one thing i have figured out is that these do not update instantly so if we go ahead and we place down a boat right there right there there you go you can see that these do not update instantly and i think i also found myself a thumbnail yeah, that looks pretty good. This this seems like it should totally be in a horror movie. And don't ask why I spent so long doing this. It took longer than you think. It's because I can. And it looks very strange. <laughs> you can really do a lot of very weird shapes with this. I feel like the builders are going to have an interesting time making weird, like, tenderly things out of this. There is just one more thing I've noticed about boats, and that is that the back passenger is always sitting to the side, even if that is a player. So that is very strange. So even if the player is like looking to the left side, the body will always be facing the right. And typically when they're looking around, it'll be super glitchy as well. I do have some footage of this. However, it is spoilers, so I can't show it. So get yourself a friend. Play some Minecraft and experiment with some boats because, my god, there's a lot of very strange things that you can do. And that is it for all my weird and random bugs having to do with boats. Real quick, thank you to everyone in the Discord server for voting on this bug rock of the week. I barely had enough time to make this and was considering having to skip a video, but everyone was like, no, make a video. So you guys can thank the Discord server for there being a video today. Anyway, be sure to vote on all the bug reports that I have linked down in the description. Voting does actually do a thing. You guys came out in full force for the last bug having to do with mob spawning. And we got over 40 votes on that uh, bug tracker ticket, which is really, really awesome. It was enough support to actually have one of the developers actually contact me and like talk about the mob spawning issues and how to fix them and stuff. Really awesome. So please do keep up your support with upvoting the bugs. It takes you like literally one minute. You do your part, you help fix Bug Rock, and help make this game actually really, really quite nice. But that is enough of my rambles and my preaching. Thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, share the video with your friends, maybe subscribe if you guys are new here, and I will see you all down in that comment section. And in the next video, thank you again for watching, and then there was silence.